you had a good night's rest last night knowing that God is with you. Tonight, we're going to read another story about Joshua. It's called Joshua and the Big Wall. How many of you heard about that wall? Remember that? Well, let's look at it. Joshua chapter 6, verse 5, it says, Then the walls of the city will fall. That's what the Bible says. Now, Joshua stood strong and brave. Remember, we talked about being strong and brave because God is with us. Well, Joshua chose to be strong and brave, knowing that God was with him and go forward and do what God asked him to do. He looked at the big wall, keeping God's people from the promised land. And he said, okay, God, now what? Like, I'm being strong and brave and I'm obeying you and I'm, I'm going to lead the people where you want them to go. But I don't know what to do about this big wall. And he asked God uh, what to do. And then God gave Joshua some very specific instructions. So Joshua followed them and the wall fell. So he obeyed what God said and the wall came down. Now, it sounds real simple, doesn't it? <laughs> Just do this and the walls of the city will fall. That sounds simple. But the instructions didn't sound like that when they but the instructions didn't sound like they would work. It didn't sound so easy to them when they heard it. And Joshua had to get a lot of people to follow the instructions to the T. And God's people didn't really know what was waiting for them on the other side. They simply had to trust God. We keep saying that over and over. There are things we do not understand and things we do not know. But if we will hear God, know what he has to say, obey and trust him he's going to take care of things he'll take care of you so trust the lord and just do what he says but it it really was as simple as that they just needed to follow god's instructions and that's what they did when they followed god's instructions the people got to where they needed to be the walls came down it worked for joshua and the people of Israel at that day, and it still will work for you and me. Just hear God's voice, know what he has to say, be obedient, and follow him, and trust him. That's as simple as it is, and everything else will take its place. Now, I want you to answer this question. What is one direction that you know God wants you to follow? You may say, I don't know, Miss Jerry. I'm a kid. I don't really. Well, you know what? You're not too young to hear what God has for your life. You can listen to God and you can feel impressed by God to do things that are nice to other people. Maybe he's telling you, um, you know, it'd be really good if you gave your mom an extra hand. Help her out today. Maybe he even says it would be a good idea if you could not argue and fuss and fight with your brothers and sisters you know give your mom and dad a break today <laughs> it could be something just that simple but God can be leading you and he can be pulling at your heart to give you direction to tell you things he wants you to do and ways he wants you to go so you're not too young to think about where God wants you to be and what God wants you to be doing so you can ask the Lord Lord speak to my heart and help me to know what you want me to do and you know what he'll talk to you to where you can understand and know we're going to pray this prayer tonight let's pray it together which way god i know you know the way if you'll tell me where to go i promise i'll obey night night god follow god it always leads to greatness good night love you